Reading is a literal blessing. Through reading, I expand imagination and grow the levels of empathy and understanding. My name is Dominika and I make videos about minimalism, veganism and low waste. I am a huge book lover. Already as a child I used to love books. I locked up myself in my room and read books from morning till the evening. But lately somehow I lost this motivation or the inspiration for reading. I don't know why, because I was maybe a little bit stressed and busy, but this is definitely something that I want to change in 2019. And if you feel the same way as I do now, I hope these tips will help you to find motivation for books again. So sit tight and enjoy the video! Nowadays there is a huge choice of where to find our lectures. If you're still one of them who likes to hold the book and smell the book, then visit a bookshop or go to library. If you do not want to carry heavy books, then you can simply buy e-reader and buy e-books. Make a list. You know what your interests are and you know what you like. Making a list makes it so much easier for you. It saves you a lot of time and it will keep you motivated to finish the list. Read books that you want to read, not anyone else. We are all different and we all have different preferences and you don't need to read a book that someone has recommended to you. And do not try to fit in by reading something that you're not really interested in. Take time to expand yourself. Read with intention. Find your quiet corner so you can completely dive in. When you read a book, make sure that you find a cozy place to sit down, drink a coffee or a tea and read the book. Switch off your phone, switch off the TV and concentrate yourself on the book and avoid all the things that might bring you out of your concentration. And if you read ebooks, make sure that you switch off all the applications. Socialize, meet people, join a book club, create the book click, meet with people with the same interest and share thoughts and ideas with them. Now I want to share my favorite books in last month that I've already read. I, of course, I recommend, but you don't not need to read it. So the first book I have here is uh, from someone I've been watching videos already on YouTube and I was also checking this person on Instagram and it's um, Kristen Liu and she wrote a perfect book Sustainable Home yeah. and oh my god I love it I hope she brings more books than just this one because it's really um, something that I will recommend for everyone who wants to live a sustainable life uh, she brings some tips and advice for maintaining <clears throat> more eco-friendly household she also brought some recipes for homemade products and I love it. It's just simple but um, very, very useful. Second book I have here is Zero Waste Kitchen and there are also some tips and hacks how to avoid, for example, a food waste, um, simple recipes and simple ideas. Another favorite book from this year is How Not to Die from Michael Greger and this is for someone who wants to discover food um, about food and to prevent diseases and illnesses and um, it's plant-based diet book and then he also brought up um, how Not to Die, a cookbook 
and oh my god the recipes are so good so simple and so easy everybody can make them it's a book with over 100 recipes to help prevent and reverse diseases as i said everything is plant-based the last but not least book i am currently reading right now is um from noemi klein this changing everything and i will recommend this for someone who is interested in climate changing um this book actually takes time because it's written it's a heavy book it's really hard to read so you really need to take time to read this book but it's really interesting so go for it so yeah that was it for today i hope i could bring you some good tips and good hacks how to stay more and be more motivated to read books if you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to know more on this topic make sure you read my blog and for more videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see you soon bye